If her wished doors could magically open when you approach what if i told you we can make that happen using just an ultrasonic sensor and a servo motor let's build an automatic door system with arduino that detect motion and opens instantly for this project we will be using an ultrasonic sensor to detect objects a servo motor to control the door and of course an arduino some jumper wires one usb cable to upload the code and a battery which is connected to power the arduino let's quickly connect our components first take the arduino board now we will wire up the ultrasonic sensor with male to female jumper bags connect the vcc of the ultrasonic sensor to the 5 volt of the arduino then connect the trig and echo pin of the sensor to any of the arduino's digital pins here we will connect the trig pin to d11 and the echo pin to d10 of the arduino at last connect the gnd pin of the sensor to the gnd of arduino now let's connect the servo motor using some male to male jumper bags Connect a brown wire to the GND pin on the Arduino. Connect red wire to 5 volt on Arduino. And connect the signal wire that is orange wire to digital pin 3. Once you have connected everything, double check the wiring according to the circuit diagram. Now our circuit is ready and we need to add the code. Download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE. Otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. The logic is simple. The ultrasonic sensor measures distance. If an object is within 30 cm, the servo opens the door, otherwise it closes automatically. First, we include the servo library, which allows us to control the servo motor easily. Next, we define the pin numbers for our ultrasonic sensor and the servo motor. Trig underscore pin sends out sound waves and echo underscore pin receives the reflected waves to measure distance. Now, we create a servo object and a variable to track its position. This helps keep the servo movement smooth instead of jerking. In the setup function, we initialize the pins and attach the servo motor. Here, what happened? Trig underscore pin is set as output to send signals. Echo underscore pin is set as an input to receive signals. The servo motor is attached to pin 3. The door start closed, main servo at 0 degree. Serial monitor begins for debugging. Now we define a function to measure the distance using the ultrasonic sensor. How does this work? Trigger pin sends a pulse. Echo pin receives the reflected pulse. We calculate the distance using the speed of sound. To avoid jerky movements, we created a function that moves the servo smoothly to a target position. Instead of instantly moving, the servo moves gradually in small steps, making the door open and close smoothly. Now in the loop, we measured the distance and decided whether to open or close the door. Here how it works. If an object is within 30 cm, a door opens smoothly meaning the servo moves to 90 degree. You may change these values according to your requirements. After 3 seconds, the door closes smoothly, so our moves to 0 degree. Serial monitor prints the measured distance for debugging, and that's it. Now upload your code to the Arduino, connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable, then select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button. To make this project realistic, install the servo motor in a cardboard door structure, so when it rotates, it opens and closes the door. Also place the ultrasonic sensor at a proper height to detect approaching objects. Take a 9-volt battery and a DC connector. Connect the battery clip to the 9-volt battery. Insert the DC jack into the Arduino's barrel jack. Now your Arduino is running without needing a computer connection. Let's test it. When I step closer, boom, the door opens and when I move away, it shuts automatically. Simple, efficient and very smart. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe for more Arduino tutorials and drop a comment if you have any questions or project ideas. Thanks for watching Robo Army and happy coding.